Assigning different material to a model. Here our model is made out of a generic material. There really is no such thing as generic. So we can come up here to a quick access toolbar. We get the drop down here and we can pick any material this is made out of. Now Inventor now then calculates all its engineering properties based on these types of materials. So if this was made out of pure gold, I hit the gold and you can see it's gold in color and it has all the weight of gold the, you know, and all the engineering properties of gold. Of course, we could go over to our appearance and paint our gold uh, mounting plate to blue or red, whatever you want, but uh, by default it puts it as the original material color. Now, we can change it to any time we want. We can come over and, and change it to a you know, stainless steel. Oops. Uh, we can come over and change it to a stainless steel. And now it's a stainless steel. And so we can change it to any type we want. We even go to wood and make it wood, and it has the properties of wood now. We can also edit materials. To do that, we're going to go up to our tools. And then in here, we go to materials and uh, we should go then go along and say ah here's our wood here and we go over here and we edit this by hitting this little button and we come over here and edit this we can put in all the different information in as far as identity but the the appearance is this is how it looks and we can edit all this materials the different colors the different stains whether it's finished or unfinished for example here we have floor or, or furniture whether we have a semi gloss or varnish um, glossy varnish whatever we can make all these changes to how it looks and then we also have the physical properties of how um, this will work so we have the mechanical properties the strengths properties uh, so all this stuff is things you can edit now, if you ever need to edit these things, always make a duplicate of it, and then, uh, and then after that, uh, so when you go in to edit these things, you can always give it another name. So give it a name dash JRB or something like that, or Project 2015. So you don't change the original material you just give it a slightly different name and then make your changes so never change the original golden rule so we are assigning different materials to a model just by quickly changing materials we can change it to anything we like um, so we can come in here and say ah oh, we really want uh, oak well there we have it and uh, but if we really want to edit the material type you come into material re, you know make a copy of it by giving it a new name and then change the, the the materials and we actually go and hit this little button to edit the material right here so uh, but I wouldn't uh, play with that as much as I would just change it in the material types